So I know I haven't done a video in a while, but that's been for a few reasons. One, a lot of stuff was going on the last couple months, and I just didn't really feel like it. Um, I'm still having camera troubles. I have a new phone, so we're attempting to record on my phone this time, so we're going to see how that works. But my good camera that I got for doing videos is still having problems. Um, I'm not going to promise that I'm going to do videos regularly. I mean, I never do them on a set schedule anyway. But I started watching YouTube again because I'm two months behind, and I realized that I do miss doing videos. There probably will be less videos because, for one, I know I normally do like book and makeup related videos, and I haven't really been reading much, and honestly I got rid of most of my books, which I know is a sad thing, but, you know, stuff happens. And for two, we haven't really had the money to for me to do shopping for makeup, like hauls and stuff, so I'm hoping to pick up a few things soon, but, I mean, we don't really have the money for me to do that a lot like I was doing. So what I'm doing today is my empties, and it's been a little while, and I really haven't used much stuff up because I haven't been even wearing makeup for the last couple months. So this is like July, August, summer empties, and then I know it's already a few days in September, but I'll probably do one at the end of this month too if I have anything else. And we'll just see what videos happen from there. So here's my empties. Um, Alex is recording for me, so I might have him like say things in the background for stuff he used, but first thing I have no. is... What? No. Be nice. <laughs> the first thing I have I actually used up this morning, the last one. It's a Jolly Rancher Apple Scented Wax Melts. These smell so good. I just randomly found them at uh, Big Lots, and they smell so, so, so good. Um, they're like green apple, really good smell. So I totally rebuy those. Um, next thing is this. It's Professional Sebastian Whipped Cream Light Conditioning Style Whip. Now, if you're like me, um, I had no idea what this was when I got it because it was like a freebie thing from beauty brands in like high school, those coupons they used to send out, you know? And it's mousse. So if you don't know what this is, it's mousse. And it's really cool because it has this top and it comes out like a can of whipped cream. Um, I use this and it smells really good. I used this for a while. Um, I put it like in my hair when it was wet and let dry and it made it like really soft and the curls more refined and stuff like that. Um, lately it got finished off because Alex was using it in his hair and it made his hair look really, really, really good too. Um, do you have anything to say about it, dear? It, uh, it was kind of a pain. Honestly, it's really greasy. I'm not a big fan of mousse. I like pomade and, uh, various forms of, uh, hair gel. Like, I like, a uh, got to be glued. It's really, really good. Very, very strong. But, um... The mousse was okay. It kind of felt like a like a poor man's pomade. Um, it says on here that if you bought it at Beauty Brands, it's about $20. Um, for the product only, I would, if I needed something like this, I wouldn't be opposed to buying this type. But I would not personally buy it because of the price, and I have no idea if this is cruelty free or not. I don't see anything on here about that so uh next thing is a bottle of shampoo this is just tresemme smooth and silky touchable softness shampoo with moroccan argan oil um when i started doing the cruelty free thing this is the one that i grabbed because i know tresemme is cruelty free and i think we talked about this like a couple months ago well a few months ago that my hair was hating everything i was getting that was trying to be cruelty free and stuff so I just grabbed Tresemme and it loved this. Um, usually I try to switch brands like every bottle, you know, like Tresemme one brand, something else the next brand. But I honestly haven't felt like looking and trying to figure out what else is cruelty free. So the bottle I'm using now is Tresemme and my hair is not angry about that. So, but it really liked this one. Um, it did make my hair smooth. Um, it says it's got argan oil in it, and I know it's a big thing now. I 
usually try to avoid like oily things in my hair because my hair doesn't like them. It's already pretty greasy, but um. Sorry about the shaky cam. Yeah, this is cruelty free. I would buy it again, and I think I got it at Target. Alex used it too. Do you have an opinion, honey dear? It's Tresme. It rules. Um. I've got, I actually tossed this in this morning. This is a J-Cat Fantabulous Gel Eyeliner in Blue Black. So, um, this is one of those things that I got my Ipsy bag one month and this is one of the eyeliners I didn't get, so I went ahead and bought it because of the discount and everything. But I used it like once and I didn't like the blue black. It wasn't as dark as I like my eyeliner to be. And I was going to start using it today, just trying to use it up, and it was dried out. It wasn't as bad as the Rimmel one that dried out a few months ago, but this one was still dried out. So, yeah, I wouldn't rebuy this just because I don't buy, I don't really use gel eyeliner, and I don't like the blue-black color. Um, it is cruelty-free, though. You can even see, like, the little bunny on the bottom. Um, okay, I've got a... Little Edge Sensitive Skin Shave Gel. This was actually Alex's, but I've used this before, and I really like this stuff. I know it's supposed to be for guys, but I really like it. I like the gel stuff. Um, do you have an opinion, dear? It's okay. Yeah, it's he doesn't like the gel as much I do because it entertains me. I probably wouldn't buy this brand again because it's not cruelty free. So if I can find a cruelty free gel type, that's what I would prefer to buy next time. But uh, right now we're using my old bottle. Uh, this is a uh, Sensational's Cupcake Wax Melt. Mom put these in the um, pinata thing at our wedding reception, and I didn't think I'd like them because I don't usually like these because they're really sweet, but. I actually really like these. I was very surprised. Um, they weren't overly sweet because I don't like that type of thing, but these smell really good. Um, it's not something I would use every day or very frequently, but it's nice to have once in a while. So I would actually rebuy these. I'm going to put them in the pile of ones I want to rebuy. Um, I just have a few more things in here. This is a rent. This is a Lush receipt because I didn't have any other way to tell you what I got. We went to Tulsa. Alex took me out there for the first time a few months ago. Um, in July, it looks like. Oh yeah, we went out there birthday shopping. And they have a Lush in the Tulsa Mall. And I was so excited because I've never been in a Lush store and I wanted to. So I got a bath bomb. It was the, um, it was a sex bomb, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that was the name of it. The, like the awesome Tom Jones song. And obviously Lush is cruelty free. They unified against animal testing, all of that stuff. Um, they support sharks and all other ocean life, too. Yeah, Lush is really cool. Um, they are expensive, though. I know, it's not worth... Um, um, sorry. Uh, he's about to take a shower, I think. You just gonna leave me? I need your commentary, dear. Um, anyway. I smell bad. You don't smell bad, you're just sweaty. I'm trying to make a video. Okay, stay. This makes it more entertaining for your audience. It smelled nice. I liked it. Um, it had the little flower in it, and I thought the flower was going to like open up when you put it in the bathtub, but it didn't. The petals just kind of like sat there, and they kind of like dissolved because they're soap or whatever. Um, it was really pretty. It was pretty. It left pink in the tub that Alex had to scrub out because I'm lazy and the bathroom's his responsibility. Yeah, thanks. You're welcome. Um, but... That and the drains. I wouldn't be opposed to buying it again, but it was like... What does it say? With tax, it was like $7. So I probably wouldn't buy one for a while just because of the price. That's still a lot cheaper than you'll find at a lot of places online, though. Yeah, that's true, especially for the quality and the cruelty free and fighting animal testing and all that um it's just it can't really afford it on the regular so um yeah um this you can't really tell what it is but it was a petty pack just a couple of um nail strips like the sticker strip things from jamberry that i won when i was doing uh, games on a party that my sister did online if you saw my nails like a 
while ago. I might have put them on Insta. I'm not sure. Um, they were like this turquoisey. It was pretty. I used them on my fingernails. I just did a whole big mismatch thing. Actually, I combined those with the leftovers of these that I'll talk about in a minute. Um, I like the design. They were thicker. Um, it may have been because the size was wrong and I tried to trim them down and stuff. But they came up at the edges and they kind of had like bumps in the middle. So... I don't know. I mean, I do have some Jamberry ones here that I'm going to try out, so I'll see if those, if I do better with those, which is probably user error. Um, and then these my mother-in-law actually gave me, and I used them a while ago, and once you open them, you're supposed to throw them away because they're not good anymore, but, you know, I don't like to waste stuff, so I had a few left, and of course they didn't stick anymore, so I put like a base coat on my fingernails and shoved these onto my nails and then held them and then put a top coat over it and it actually worked pretty well. The only problem I have with these is I can't get them off for the life of me. If I use nail polish remover, they get all gummy and sticky and they just get everywhere and if I don't, it just wrecks my nails. So, probably wouldn't buy these. Um, if I did get them, it would be a different design, but like I said, my mother-in-law gave me these and they were actually pretty cool. I liked them better than I thought I would. Your mom's cool. Your mom's awesome. Okay, I have, um, Bath and Body Works shower gel. Seriously? It's been, like, two months, and I've only gone, we've only gone through one shower gel? How is that possible? That's, it's... Well, Maybe he how. threw something away without me knowing about it. Uh, um, because that's the, the, uh, well, the yeah, scent you've got in there. I remember I put that in. I've just been using my bar soap a lot more. Yeah, and when you do use this, you put it in your scrubby. I don't so use it You don't use very much. Okay. And you never shower. I do so. I just don't do it all the time. I mean, I sit in the house. I don't get sweaty or gross or anything, and I never go anywhere. Anyway, this is Bath & Body Works Napa Autumn Blackberry. This was from fall one year. I don't know. I, you guys know I get these things on clearance. Um... Why am I opening it like that? Uh, I really, no, I really like this one. Um, it's definitely something if I saw it in the clearance bin, I would grab it again. Um, do you have an opinion on this, dear? Do you want to sniff it? I, uh. It was also purple, which is a plus, so. Yeah, I remember this. Oh, pretty good. Yeah, it looks like this. Sorry if I haven't been showing you guys things close enough, but yeah, I would not be opposed to repurchasing that. Um, this one is a little Jergens BB Body Perfecting Skin Cream, and it's supposed to, like, make your skin shimmery or something. I don't know, but it was an okay lotion. It worked. Um, it says it has five beautifying benefits. I don't really know about that, but... I just used it on my legs pretty much. I got about, okay, so if I do from my knee to my ankle, I got about both legs from knee to ankle two and a half times out of this little thing. So, but it's Jergen, so it's not cruelty free, so I wouldn't rebuy it. And honestly, I don't need any lotion, and I've discovered that in shower stuff is really awesome. So, um, I used up a Soft Lips. It's a cherry. These always, even as much as I use them, they always take me forever to use up. I love soft lips. I will always rebuy soft lips. I would not purposely buy a cherry again because I just don't like cherry. But if I have it, I will use it. If it's soft lips, I don't care. <laughs> soft lips is amazing. And cruelty free. And the newer ones even have the little bunny ears on it. And the last thing is a Come Clean Soaps is the brand. It's sold at our local farmer's market, and it's in the scent Amber. Um, this is Alex's little bar soap thing. Um, I think it smells nice. Whenever he takes a shower with this one, and you, like go in the bathroom afterwards, the whole bathroom smells good. So it smells like hippie soap. Do you have anything else to say about it? I mean, it seems to get you pretty clean. Spicy smelling. I don't know if you heard that, but he said it's spicy smelling, but. Yeah, it smells good. Um, like I said, it's sold at our local farmer's market. So, here's the info if you want to get it. I don't even know if you can see that. I don't know how this video is going to turn out because I haven't used the video camera part on my phone yet. So, 
But that's all my empties. Like I said, um, if I have any, I'm going to try to do them again at the end of September. And we'll just see how the channel goes from here because I don't know. I gotta figure out what I want to do with it. But I decided that I don't want to just let it go. So that's all for today, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. I always turn this thing off.